Right, so now this is the Siemens digital tachograph. I've just switched the ignition on on the truck and that's the display so as usual I've got my car I'm just going to show you how to do a manual entry so the card's in it's just checking the data on the card and everything up right so as you can see the buttons are different as the uh, stone ridge one but the printer pulls pretty much the same so manual entry yes as you can see, the top line there is when the card was last removed. So what I'm going to do is use the up and down buttons on this side. If you watch the flashing icon, I'm going to put that up to other work. Back to the day in question. And I carried out other work till 12.30. See, so between 12.08 and 12.30, I was doing other work. So select OK. So top line now was when I clocked off. Today's the 8th, so I've been on rest till the 8th. So I don't need to change the mode. Leave that on rest. The 8th, which is today, started at 7. Uh, sorry, it's 1700, 5 o'clock. So again, you can just go across and up and down with the buttons. So I'm going to go back to 1700. So that's telling you I was on break from 12.30 on the 4th till 1700 on the 8th. And between 1700 and 1707, over here, other work. ignore that or just press your OK sometimes uh, displays that for some reason as you can see it has now recognised the card so I'm now free to go and like I said I think I said on the other video at the end of the shift when ejecting you can't do the manual entries until the following shift well, now one thing I should tell you if you've uh, inputted your previous finish time and your start time for the shift that you're uh, just starting and you've scrolled through the modes, the dates, the times before you press your OK button at the very end to uh, confirm everything if you think you've made a mistake in your times or your dates you can go back with that button to the very start so before you press OK at the very end, just double check with whatever's displayed that you've inputted the right information. If not, you can just press the back button there. I mean, if I press it now, it's not going to do that because I'm halfway through the shift um, and currently on a break. But just so you know that if you have inputted the wrong things, you still can go back and correct them before you uh, confirm those manual entries.